In this video, I'm going to show you how to insert text into Cricut Design Space. So let's get started. Let's learn about inserting text into Cricut Design Space. This is going to be a skill that you're going to use all the time when creating your own design. So let's jump into it. Over here on the left hand panel, click the text button and then you're going to type in the text that you're going to be using for your project. I'm going to type in the words rescued me because I'm going to be creating an image with both the image above and this text in the next video. Then once you have your text all typed out, you're going to go up underneath font and click on the drop down menu. And this is going to show you all of your font options. You can sort your fonts at the top here by clicking on the system fonts, which are all the fonts that are already installed on the computer or device that you're using or you can sort it by Cricut fonts. Cricut fonts are either fonts that you can purchase or fonts that you have access to because you're a member of Cricut Access. Another handy trick is to use the filter on the right hand side. When you click the filter, you'll see a bunch of different options, but if you're going to be cutting your text out of something like cardstock, vinyl, or iron-on, I recommend sorting to the single layer fonts. And if you're going to be using the pen feature to write with your text, I recommend sorting it with the writing fonts. So that's just a pro tip for you guys for the future. But I'm going to type in one of my favorite fonts, which is Four Seasons Home Decor, because that's what I'm going to be using in my project today. Now that we're back on the canvas, you can see that the text edit toolbar has appeared underneath the edit toolbar. The text edit toolbar allows you to do things like adjust your letter spacing, adjust your alignment, and even curve your text. So there's lots of great features there. But the easiest way to resize your text is either to type it in up here in the edit toolbar if you actually know what size you want it to be, or you can use these arrows in the bottom right corner of the bounding box. The bounding box is just this box that goes all the way around the text and lets us know that our text is selected. So you can resize everything in proportion as much as you need to until you get it perfect. There are so many choices for fonts that I know that that can be a little bit overwhelming. So I have a couple of tips for you as far as how to organize your favorite fonts so they're super easy to find for your next project. My first tip for you is to create a project in Design Space and save it and only type in your favorite fonts to use. The reason this is helpful is because you can go back and refer to it each time you're trying to choose a font and everything will be super easily accessible. If you prefer not to do it digitally, I recommend writing down just a cheat sheet of all of your favorite fonts to use so that you have certain fonts to compare in your next project. A few of my favorite fonts to use in Cricut Design Space are Don Juan, Felix, and Four Seasons Home Decor. I hope that you are more comfortable now with inserting text in Cricut Design Space. As a crafter, I found that the best way to learn is just by getting started. So jump on into Cricut Design Space and start making.